I need armor. Oh, right here in front of me. I already know my motherfucking easy pass. Oh my! Yeah. Clip that, 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 clip that. Oh my god, oh my god. Put that nigga in a blender. Oh, right here in front of me. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's LeJewel here. Now we're back in another video. Now, in today's video, I'll be showcasing my build for Hawkeye at 175. Now, it is pretty insane. Uh, your boy is doing 200k per split shot arrow with battery damage. So, it's pretty nasty if I'm keeping it a buck. So, look, before we get to the video, if you guys are going to enjoy it, you guys like the video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well, so you miss the video, and I'll be notified when I upload a video. And most importantly, make sure you guys hit that like button. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so let's get into my Hawkeye build. So, the first thing I'm going to be showcasing is my stats. Now, for my stats, I have 97 melee, um, I have 750 precision, 8 proficiency, 369 valor, 97 resolve, 85 resilience, and 4 intensity. And for my ability charge rate, it is 20.3% for across the board, which is pretty nice. So, when it comes to my Hawkeye build, you already know what time it is, bro, with Hawkeye. Like, come on, bro. Like, you, you know what we're doing. You know, we do doing that split shot arrows. That's his most damaging ability that he does have when it comes to being consistent is bag of tricks. It, it does too much damage to really like pass it up. And honestly, when it comes to the raid gear, I think only two pieces will really benefit you when it comes to the raid gear. Um, when it comes to the elite, at least, um, you can get it for the melee slot and uh, the chest slot, but I will go into detail about that. But um, yeah, let's get on to the first slot, which is the melee slot. Now, this slot is not perfect. I've been trying to farm for a better piece. Now, the piece that I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get this to roll. You know, this is a very, very good slot. This is a very good piece right here. If it only rolled split shot arrows for the instead of heavy combo finishers, this would have been a god roll drop right here. But it did not drop, and it kind of hurt my soul when I saw this because it's super good. It has 98 precision, almost 100 for a three stat, 85 valor, and 91 resilience. Like, this is too good, and the fact. It rolled heavy combo finishers. It hurt my soul to see this, to be honest. But for what I have right now, I have light combo finishers and split shot for, uh, for Vibranium. And if you guys don't know, Vibranium actually does increase your damage when it comes to your abilities. And of course, with Hawkeye with his Night Storm arrow and his um, Talons with his ultimate, you want to be doing more damage with that, especially since you can consistently add Vibranium with split shot. It's the fastest way to apply Vibranium. So yeah, having split shot Vibranium is very, very good. I would highly recommend it. So for the range piece, this range piece, of course, comes from the Tachyon missions when it comes to like ta uh, like just regular Tachyon missions and also from the Monica villain sector. Uh, if you complete the weekly, you'll get a chance to get uh, Tachyon rays or in the exotic version of the Tachyon rays, which is this right here. Now, the thing is, I would highly recommend you guys getting the, getting the exotic version because the exotic version actually rolls higher stats compared to the legendary version. So if you want to put that grind in and try to get this, uh, I say good luck. Honestly, the perfect time to really farm this exotic is around when it's the um, the cosmic cert, the cosmic event is going on where it drops a lot of tachyon gear, um, exotic gear too. So yeah this piece i got very very lucky on valor precision targeted buff targeted tachyon surge increase with my uh my uh, status damage by 50 percent for 10 seconds so that counts for 
my cluster arrows as you guys see right there we're doing cosmic it counts for my vibranium it counts for my ultimate and battery damage as well so yeah it is very very a necessity to do some damage on hawkeye with this piece right here it is very very good now if you don't have it just a regular proficiency buff or a regular tachyon not tachyon um a targeted buff will work as well so yeah that is what you could rock with that for my defensive slot i do have the raid gear which the exotic version not exotic the legendary version of it now this slot it, this gear piece is not perfect and the reason why it's not perfect is because the middle slot i want the um rever reverberation drive now this to show you a quick example of what it does i'm gonna go on hawks has already made a video about it if you get this chest piece you actually do 25 percent more additional damage to enemies that are afflicted by vibranium and with hawkeye with a split shot it is very easy to apply vibranium and i'll be doing 25 percent more damage with all sources when it comes to my split shot my nice storm arrow my ultimate and it is very very good to have and unfortunately i have not got it to roll or drop for me at all like you can see this is all elite gear from the raid like i have not got it, it at all so yeah i am very down bad i've been trying to get this get that for the longest because it will take hawkeye to the next level if i'm already doing 200 k's with battery damage and fully buffed and all that with my uh split shot arrow just imagine 25 percent more damage added on to that so yeah that's pretty nice and to add this in there you only get split shot multiplier on the elite uh, gear as well so if you run the elite this is the only time you'll be able to get split shot multiplier so and the thing that makes it most uh, powerful is because if you guys got the operative's armor of course it only rolls uh resilience resolve and intensity but for the raid gear elite version it can actually roll precision and valor which is adds on to split shot and if you got have that as well so you do more damage just insane i promise you it's it's pretty crazy so i would say honestly um when it comes to the chest piece get the reverberation drive and split shot multiplier with either precision and valor on it if you see precision and valor it's a guy roll it's, it really is a guy roll now for my um last slot i have operatives kit which is very good on hawkeye i would recommend having this you get 20 percent damage increase while lock on is active um you get 10 extra seconds on your world power when it comes to recovery arrow it stays up by 10 seconds and of course the lock on the resonance now this piece is the last slot is glitched and it's very easy to get overcharged with um with hawkeye with his lock on and while this lock on is active basically it, it you know if right now it's glitched but when it's glitched and you guys can either got caught any way to get like a heroic charge burst to happen while you overcharge your abilities come back super super fast now they probably got videos out about already when it comes to uh jordy and probably tricks uh when it comes to this so yeah y'all probably go e either find out about this by the time you see this video so this is very good to have on hawkeye and for my minor artifact i have some very very good minor artifacts 64 across the board and i have increased damage from power attacks now of course split shot multiplier is a power attack so i will be getting increased damage from uh from split shot arrow and the next one i have is the same thing and i'm getting another additional damage increase from split shot so it is very 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 good and i did ask alex um these two minor artifacts do stack with each other when it comes to the bottom perk and the top perk so they do stack to each other so that's pretty nice and of course for my major artifact these are the two that i run i run the tactic gun and i run the norn stone now the way i do it if i'm about to fight a boss i activate norn stone and I, I just have Norstone on in general. Now, if I'm just clearing out regular ads and all that stuff, then I just have on a tactic gun because the tactic gun is very good. It is so slept. It, well, I ain't gonna say it's slept on, but it is very, very good dealing status damage when it comes to anything that you can do status with. It increases that damage by a lot. And I will highly recommend you guys use the tactic gun it is very very good now going to get on my skills it's basically the same nothing has changed to be honest uh we're rocking critical care um uh, we're rocking a uh, heroic charge rate uh recharge i said charge rate imagine and um for the bottom one um i use fire devil or i use hellstorm now you may be wondering why hellstorm now the thing is 
the highest number now you see how it shoots out multiple cryos uh little um shards down the highest number i've seen with these per tick they shoot multiple i've seen 134 with one when it goes down by one and they do multiple it's in it's crazy now i know you can get some really really good damage off with the night storm arrow with the fire devil it does some crazy damage as well so honestly it really does depend on you um sometimes i just switch it between hellstorm and um you know fire devil it just depends on you um of course use the slot right here it basically increases the duration so you can do additional damage and also you know for that area that is in, in so that's more damage as you could be doing so that's very good right there of course when it comes to the ultimate we already know you rock the twin talons for the shock damage for the battery damage and i also rock this slot right here since i have a lot of valor so, uh, somewhat of a lot of valor my nice storm arrow can do some damage so i had this on here so if they get defeated by my uh, hunter arrow they drop a heroic orb now you can use the bottom one the bottom one is not bad when it comes to hearts cry and the top one is not bad either either when it comes to hunter's resolve so it's it depends on you to be honest now for the master tree the one i will recommend you guys going for is this one here shark fragments increase the damage inflicted by split shot by 15 percent since that's what you're going to be doing a lot why not have this it's very very good i promise you you're gonna love it and the rest is just whatever you want to pick to be honest now when we get to the intrinsic overcharge which is locked on this is what i re re would recommend you guys using use archer's choice increase the amount of overcharge energy you get from critical attacks which is very good since you got if you got targeted buff or proficiency buff you're going to be getting a lot of crits from your split shot multiplier so it's going to be nice to have this you'll get your locked on very very fast um, I would say have this one increase the um, amount of overcharge you get from combo finisher is because um, the I think it's this one. Yes, yeah, suspension arrow is very. When I tell y'all suspension arrow is <sighs> suspension arrow is very 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 good. It does some high damage, and when you see it right there, it says high damage. It really does high damage. The highest number I've seen with this is above 200k with a battery damage applied so this does some crazy damage so i would recommend having that um also i would recommend having this as well increase the critical attack damage or overcharge by 20 percent so this is very good as well um and also for the champion levels this is what i would recommend to have on hawkeye um, heroic charge damage boost uh critical damage boost uh, crit chance boost Rug charge rate boost and the perk chance boost so those are the ones i would recommend you guys using when it comes to the champion uh level now after you get after you get these out then that's pretty you really don't have to worry about nothing else to be honest you could just pick out whatever you want after you get these filled out so yeah you know you can just go crazy with that but um yeah that is basically the hawk i build i will be showcasing it uh showcasing clips and things that i use with this build and to, i'm promise you it go crazy so um yeah that is in today's video hope you guys enjoyed today's video as i enjoyed making it but before we head out if you guys are not then please subscribe to the channel don't forget to turn on post notifications to miss the video and also be notified when i upload a video and most importantly make sure you guys hit that like button now of course i do have a discord if you guys want to join it the discord link is below we talk about everything so if you guys want to join that you can also i do stream on twitch if you guys want to come out to the twitch streams the link is below for that one as well uh you know we go we, we go crazy over there so if you guys want to come out the link is below for that one as well also i do have memberships on the channel which give a quick shout out to the memberships for the elite members and record members i greatly greatly appreciate it i know i've been in my yay uh, y'all like i just there's nothing really going on in gaming to be honest so you know i apologize for that but i will make up for it so um yeah that is basically it hope you guys enjoyed today's video as i enjoyed making it and i am gone i will see you guys later peace and let the gameplay roll out